We're back at it again, and it's time for some real stuff. We're about to play some Ravi Ribby. Metro Verdia mixed with Bullet Hell is very fun. Uh, we're gonna see how far we can get in a short amount of time. Alrighty, here we go. This is Ravi Ribby. We got it ready to go. Press start button. Let's do new game. I've played this game before, but not on the hardest difficulty. I gotta play through the beginning part. I'm gonna actually skip the text because I've played before. Basically, bunny girl Erina wakes up in her box and she's like, what? I'm a bunny now. Or rather, she's a human now and she's supposed to be a bunny before. She's all confused. So we're like, where are we? Now she gets worried and wants to go, um, now she wants to go find her owner because she's lost without uh, human guidance. And I know that we want to go up through the vent rather than go to the left because there's nothing to, to the left. And we're just going to get it rolling. So this is a Metroidvania bullet hell game. Uh, the, the fights are quite difficult um, and I'm playing on a hard difficulty. Uh, most of the goal is to just not get hit because you get hit, it's really bad. And <laughs> you don't want to get hit in this game because you'll take a lot of damage and you usually have to fight bosses taking the fewest hits. All right, here we go. Time to get it started. The fake bunny girls running around and the fake bunny girls are the enemy. So we gotta go this way and go. Gotta get our journey on the road, so we're going this way. And I can't even fight enemies yet, so I just have to dodge everything. All those little rabbit guys, these guys are enemies. We just gotta watch out for them. So we get the hammer. Now we got the Pico hammer. And we can start fighting back. Alright, so now that I got the Pico hammer, I can go this way, break some blocks. And pretty soon we get the first boss fight. I don't think it takes that long to get to the first boss fight at all. I think uh, just jump through some platformer portions and then the boss will be up top. And this is a warp thing that we can't use yet. Run in the game will unlock a bunch of warp points and we'll be able to go wherever we want. Big bunny! Alright, and here's the save point before the first boss fight. So we'll save here because it's easy to die in these fights. Oh yeah, and bosses do this thing where they go into an immune phase often. They'll get a bunch of iframes and you have to, uh, you have to, um, you have to wait it out. Like right now she's flashing because I can't hit her. We're gonna start throwing out these little, these little flying things that shoot lasers down. But that won't stop us. Oh, I got, we got a little bit dinked up. Ooh. Then they go into this phase, they activate like their strong stability after doing a little flashy effect. Uh, every single boss in the game has some kind of move like this, it's kind of nuts. And you see it's all about positioning, you don't want to take any of these, any of these hits if you can avoid it. And then we're about to bop her down, we just need a little bit more damage on her and it's over. And we got her. There we go. So that was Coco, the first boss battle, already beat. And we're gonna move on, try to get this um try to get this next item upgrade. There's a carrot bomb this way. So we can start blowing stuff up. Alright, here we go. We could save, I'm not gonna bother, I'm just gonna quickly go down this hole. And before I go down further, I need to grab this health. And I know there's a secret to the right. I'm gonna go in there and get it. Oh yeah, it just leads back this way, that's right. Okay, uh, I need to get my SP up. My SP is too short for now. We gotta wait till um, we learn about it later. Alright, now we're coming up on the second boss fight in a second. We go this way and we run to a possessed pixie fairy thing. And we have to, we have to battle them. Pretty much all the boss fights in this game are characters who have been possessed and we're just trying to rescue them from their possession. And here's the, the fairy. Oops, I'm hitting her then in her invincibility. That's not good. 
And yeah, a lot of the work in this game is just um, watching their attacks and trying to dodge everything the best you can. Oops. Once you learn their patterns, you try to learn their patterns mid-fight. Since I haven't played this in over a year, I don't really remember a lot of it, so I'm just trying to relearn it all on the fly. Oh, here we go, there's her special move. These early boss fights aren't too bad, even on hard difficulty. Ooh. Oh, oh, I got some moves! I got some moves! Oh, I got hit finally. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, we've got her pretty low. Uh, oh! If, if I take like two more hits though, I'm gonna be dead. So I've gotta play it real safe here. Oh no, I walked right into that. Please, die! Ah! Don't kill me! No! Continue, yes. Alright. Here we go, let's try that boss fight again. Okay, we just gotta get a little bit, uh, hit a little bit less. Uh oh. And right, we've already taken quite a few hits right off the bat, so we might be. We might be in some danger. Oh, I'm almost beat up. Ah! We've got her low, though. Oh! There we go, I just gotta dodge a little bit more. And we can finish her off on the next combo! <laughs> now she's still got a little bit more in her. Mm. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, this game's hard. <laughs> oh, this part, no! Oh. We can do it! Die! Yes! <laughs> there we go. Second try is not bad. I like that. Alright, we beat him up and then she gets unpossessed and she decides to join us because we tell her that we're gonna go help her free her fairy fans. That's what we're gonna do later on in the game. Oh uh, look, best friends now. And so she tells me like come this way, this is where my friends are and then uh, you'll see. So we come over here, and to our dismay, we can't do much further. Alright, here we go. Let's go back on our way. We might die to an enemy just getting back to the recovery point, to be honest. We... Oh god, there was a sneaky guy. Alright. Okay, so now we can go this way to the, um, to the beach, because I think the blockage that was this way is now gone away. Oh yes, here they are. There's the, the bunny girl fanatics, the fake bunnies, cosplayers who are the villains of the game. And we have to do battle with them. Because they are not real bunnies. This is just like a really mini easy boss fight. It's not like the usual ones. Oh no, here they come, more bunnies. And then we run off to the beach. Ooh, give me that mana. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell which ones are humans and which ones are enemies. Because like this girl right here, she's not an enemy. Here we go, we unlock a warp point, put it away. And over time we just have to use our abilities on a bunch of enemies, because destroying the little enemies helps you level up your abilities. Ooh, now this, um, uh, Ashuri is, um, the character. Uh, she shows up multiple times as a boss, and her fights are some of the funnest ones to do. There's somewhere here where there's a, a hidden thing, I'm sure. Ah, bird thing. Uh, I haven't gained the ability to attack Midaria yet. 
in here? Yes. I will take. And equip my badge. Every now and then I'm just gonna throw down some random carrot bombs to blow things up, cause... Cause there's a bunch of secrets in the game, but I don't know where they're all at. So... Carrot bombs will be thrown. Alright, over here I think is the next boss fight. As soon as we jump down here. There she goes. That looks like Starfall. Oh, also the the boss fights, they'll start getting buffs mid-fight. And it becomes harder to beat them once they get buffs. If you want to try to like take them out uh -huh. quite quickly if you can. Okay, we're getting her low. But we're also kind of low. We just need a few more hits on her. We got him. Okay, let's go on to Rabby Ruby Town. Oh yeah, up there is the next um, upgrade for Ribbon. Oops, we fell. Alright, so we're gonna come over here and grab this little staff. And this is like a really good um for um, Ribbon. I wonder if I can go down here. Ah, I found your secrets. Okay, we're almost to the town. It's the next next area over is the town. And then we get to like the core part of the game where we just have to start going in a bunch of different directions fighting bosses. Oh, is there actually a boss fight right here? Yeah, I think the safe point is because of the boss fight that I'm about to have. Can we go look down here over to the right? and see if there's anything down here I can grab real quick. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. I knew I could find some secrets this way. And as you can see in like the bottom right corner, we have a map that's like perpetually filling up as we like explore more areas, which is really cool. Because eventually you want to like discover the whole, all of the areas in the game if you can. Oh, I think I accidentally avoided the boss fight that I wasn't trying to avoid, but I didn't mean to do that. I was looking for secrets and apparently accidentally went to the main objective. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Here we go, we made it to Rabby Ruby Town. Now we gotta get in contact with the people who are gonna teach us how to do this stone thing, because the stone thing is where it's all at. Oh yeah, now Erin is concerned because now she's a human rather than a rabbit and she thinks her her owner, who we're about to meet up with, isn't gonna recognize her. And her owner's still, like, out of it or something. Alright, and we finished... We finished that, so... Uh, we got pretty far in, so I'm happy with the progress that you made, so... Uh, I think I'll finish playing this for now. Um, Alright, so Rumi tells us about the researching on the stones that's going on, and... There we go, we can, we can now break. There's like a thing up here in this corner. Am I able to get to that? I don't know how to do it. Oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and save here. And we'll pick it up next time.